Having one of those will make your job a lot easier for this. Cutting a few cuts all the same and it's just better. Have one of those. Good evening everybody, welcome back, it's Mark. Well, this video was about a year and a half in the making, but we finally have a preliminary rendering of probably what's gonna be the casting deck on this boat from now on. Now before I show you the pictures, don't rip me for the carpet, I wasn't in a I wasn't interested in waiting for the shipping from Bass Pro Shops for the identical match, so I found a suitable replacement at Lowe's. It is a little lighter in color, but it'll work. Let's show it to you. Which is very minimal. That's what I was looking for. I just want to be able to take it out. I debated a long time on if I wanted it removable or not, and I just decided it was better because whoever buys this down the road might not want this. And everything is done with torque screws, so it's pretty much all replaceable, take it apart, make changes. First thing you'll notice is just this simple little bench right here. This comes to a finished height of six and a quarter inch with the carpet leaving you about a seven and a quarter inch final step up. That's all that was for. The casting deck itself is 24 inches deep. The, all this was was a 24 by 48 inch plywood, three quarter inches thick. You could buy it in any hardware store, pre-cut to that length. And I just shaved a little bit down. It's 40 inches across by 24 inches deep. So you're getting another 24 inches of area up front which is I think very helpful and it brings it to the same height as the casting deck which is about 14 now it's still that giant step so what we did was he added an additional step that's 17 inches wide and seven and three quarter inches high so it's a six inch step down and then a seven inch step and you're on the ground and that's that that's all there is to building a casting deck now this costs less than a hundred dollars in material now a lot of people might have some of this laying around it could get very cheap but in my case i wanted to use all new stuff it took three and a half two by fours eight foot long one two foot by four foot sheet of three quarter inch plywood I use three inch torque bits for the big penetrations and I use two inch to hold all the decking down on all of the steps and all of that and I'll tell you what it is stout it's not going anywhere you could pick it up it is heavy it's about 50 pounds but uh, I think it's a necessary evil along with the the lumber and the screws I got two cans of black spray paint a can of adhesive to glue the carpet down as well as staples which I had other than that that's about all you need to do this project the carpet was also uh, sold by the foot and essentially I only needed about 16 square feet of it so about a four foot by four foot piece and it did all of all of what you see in the boat today did I want to do something more elaborate you know back back when I thought about it I did and then I realized I didn't want to drill a bunch of holes in the boat. I was able to do both of these projects with not one hole in the boat. The casting deck will not move uh, for anything. Like I said, it's removable. So that's pretty cool. At any rate, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. If you liked it, like it. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and we'll see you in the future. Thanks again for watching. Have a great night.